just a very quick video really to look at the uh, Rafa winter tights. Um, if you search on the website, so it's the uh, Rafa winter tights with pad. Uh, they come in a couple of different colours, um, however in both cases uh, the uh, dominant colour is actually black. Um, so they come in uh, um, with white detailing and then also like a fluoro yellow. Um, now I actually bought these um, initially probably about three years ago so I th and I'm pretty sure that was the first year that they'd actually released these with the pad. Um, as I already touched on they actually used to do them without the pad. The idea being is that you wore them over shorts um, which just seemed a little bit excessive to me. Uh, certainly from a washing point of view if you're trying to keep your other half happy. It's currently what end of September, early October here in the UK of 2017. Um, so the weather will start to change now um, and this is probably a bit of a premature purchase because uh, these tights are thick. Um, in my experience from uh, the first pair that I had you really don't want to be wearing them certainly in my case you know, five degrees is probably the ceiling limit um, anything more than that and I just found them too hot and um, a little bit too restrictive um, to be perfectly honest. Um, so there's kind of two points really for this video is uh, actually to compare the original with the uh, revised version. As far as I know they've only um, actually released um, one revised version if that makes sense and they're the ones that they were selling um, kind of last winter and are still selling now. So we'll just have a quick look at some of the differences in terms of the detail. Um, they are very good quality though as you'll see um, and um, certainly the first pair that I had, I had absolutely no problem at all riding in even kind of, you know, minus one, minus two. Uh, it was probably about as low as it got from memory. Um, but they did keep me warm and um, largely pretty dry as well when cycling in uh, foggy conditions. Anybody who's ever ridden in the fog will know as you're, you know, kind of cycling along into that cloud, the fronts of your trousers and the uh, you know, front of the bike do pick up quite a lot of moisture so very impressive them from that point of view so first thing to mention let's try and get some of the angle in here so i'm actually trying to hang them on the door as you'll see so that i'm not having to kind of faff around but um first thing in the original so they actually had this detail in here on the back whereas the new ones don't certainly not in the uh, fluoro color which i've decided to go for this time um, actually when I bought these originally, so it was probably, I'm pretty sure it was three years ago, um, and um, they've lasted pretty well. They've not seen all that much use um, for a reason which I'll go into in a minute, um, but the one problem that I had with them is in a size medium, which is normally what I wear on Rafa bottoms, is the legs were short. So they would probably finish, I don't know, somewhere around the ankle. Um, and if I didn't have the right uh, kind of bib shorts on, then I ended up with a bit of a gap and uh, you know, ultimately I was cold, so let's just get these down. So yeah, so these are a size medium. Around the bottom, got good, good grips on them, um, although <laughs> I'm saying good grip, there actually isn't a grip, it's just elastic, but that works pretty well. So although they were sitting around by the ankle, uh, no real complaints with them riding up. Um, if, like me, you have concerns with bunching around the back of the knee and find that uncomfortable, um, these were pretty good. So provided you size correctly, you shouldn't have any issues with them there. Um, as you'll see here, on the, so this is the front, you'll see they actually come up very high. So on me, they come up probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the way up, up my stomach, something like that. So they do keep your front nice and warm and quite difficult to see but actually they're pretty thick here on the front almost like wetsuit material but then on the back they're actually uh, they're actually on the back they're thinner so it's really just stopping you know that wind as it's hitting your legs there on the front so very well made biggest gripe that i had though they fit perfectly on the waist and the shoulders as far as the straps and everything um so i'm six foot two Probably at the time of buying these, I was around about 80 kilos, but they were a good fit for me, other than the leg length. So that was clearly my height, six foot two. Um, I would guess probably somebody up to about six foot. Um, now the size guys changed, so I can't go back and compare, but 
I'm pretty sure that was at the ceiling limit, so maybe I was just pulling them up a little bit too much. Um, another gripe that I actually had with these is the limited amount of reflective material. So just flip them over onto the back. See these little tags? That's the extent. You see there, there's the back of the pad, so that's lasted pretty well. Uh, they've probably done. I don't know, maybe 500 winter miles, so it's not a massive amount by any stretch of the imagination. Um, some of it down to the weather, um, and some of it because of the uh, ankle, uh, sorry, the leg length um, hovering around the ankle, so I always had to wear overshoes, uh, which you'd do anyway, but um, yeah, some of them weren't perhaps as high up my leg as I would like, and so uh, at the time I was limited actually for overshoes. Okay, so moving over to the new version. Let's just get these down. Okay, so new version. Decided to go with the fluoro yellow. Um, not that it makes a fat lot of difference, to be honest, because uh, detail is there on the strap, so that's going to be covered up by a jacket or a jersey or whatever it is that you wear. You've still got the same couple of reflective tags. See, on the left and the right. And I guess when you're in a cycling position, actually, they're probably more prominent than uh, I give Rafa credit for, but nonetheless. So you see on the back, the Rafa detailing has been removed. Uh, I don't think that's actually such a bad thing, because again, it's not reflective, and it actually would have been covered up anyway. So, maybe save themselves a few quid on the R, the A, or a couple of A's, a P and a H. You've still got the detailing on the leg. Um, that actually feels better to me. I don't know whether it's because that's more of a matte than this, which was a lot more kind of plasticky gloss effect. But that does feel better. It feels like it's, uh, yeah, it does feel better. It feels like it's actually keyed more to the fabric as well. Aside from that, pad is exactly the same. This one's just newer, so it's got a bit of a brighter look to it. Uh, now, because of the experience that I had with the first pair and looking at the size chart off the top of my head and from, you know, I guess, doing a little bit of uh, uh, comparison work, I actually decided to go for the large. Now, looking at the size guide, actually the waist, the hips, everything like that is minimal between a medium and a large. So I thought, okay, well, I shouldn't end up with any kind of bunching around the back of the leg or, or even kind of around the waist, all those type of areas where you want these to be snug. The last thing that you want when you're cold is for your bib tights to be moving around equally when it's wet, because that's how you end up with saddle sores and chafing and just being generally uncomfortable. Um, and anybody who's ridden in you know, pretty crappy conditions will know that you need to be as comfortable as possible. So I went for the large, um, and in trying them, they fit absolutely perfectly. Um, I've only done one very short ride because we've not been down to, a, you know, the the very sort of low temperatures, um, but it looks as though they've sorted the leg length out by going for the large. Everywhere else, like I say, they fit. They almost feel identical. Um, I'm sure there's a little bit in it because if not, why not just make a, you know, a medium short and a medium long. But um, I'm hoping that these will see a lot more use. Uh, it certainly feels like they will do. I'm not going to end up with cold ankles. So that's first impressions. And um, if somebody's keen to know more about these, and you know, you've got any questions about the sizing, any particular you know panel of the fabric or whatever, then just drop me a, a comment in the section below, and I will do my best to respond. Uh, probably uh, do another video on these maybe halfway through the winter when they've had um, some more use, just to see how they're lasting. They are about 200 quid, so they're not cheap. But actually, there's not all that many reviews either. So, uh, hence putting this video out. Uh, any other comments or questions, again, drop them in the section below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe if you want to see more.